They call us murderers. It's not only because we want to kill, it's because we want to survive. You know, you already been through that and you already know. Kill or get killed. Take it to the tomb. So murder isn't thought of as a crime, but a means of survival. Out of the blue, Sharky calls a meeting. This is great. Sharky called this, not the institution. That's power. Watching this is exhilarating. 700 guys are clearing out their cells, waking up from naps, putting down whatever they were doing, and just marching out to the yard. I don't think the Pope can call a mass this quick at the Vatican. Now I know that Sharky isn't just a mouthpiece, but the top dog inside this joint. Nosotros decíamos que habían tres caminos nada más para la ganga. Era cárcel, muerte y hospital. Sharky's obviously the leader. He's, he's holding court. I want to talk to him as soon as it's over. Sabemos que somos gangsters. Sabemos que somos locos. Sabemos que los tiramos por todo, por el todo, por nuestra ganga. Y por ella vamos a morir, va? Y por ella estamos viviendo. Porque no hay nada fuera de la 18. Sharky talks like a general rallying his troops. I guess his rhetoric is appropriate since the gang is always in a state of war. Por eso damos todos y nunca vamos a avergonzarlo de lo que somos. Somos dichocheros de cora, ¿entiendes? Va, pero también somos personas con sentimientos, con familia, quien queremos. Eso es todo. Sharky's a great speaker, and that takes time and practice. I wonder how long it's taken him to become a leader. Ya te dije, este, entre a los 12 años a la pandilla, le he dedicado todo el, toda mi vida a la pandilla. Por ella vivo y por ella muerto. Would you bring your kids into this gang? Eh, yo nunca hubiera querido que, que mi hijo fuera, fuera pandillero. Is he in jail? Está in jail. He's in jail. Murder? Murder. Wow, solo lleva cuatro años, imagínate. <laughs> As far as I know, Sharky didn't teach his son to kill, but he's a firm believer in gang loyalty, and that apparently rubbed off on his kid. Ver antes el barrio, ante todo, este, no importa en las en las circunstancias que te encontres, este, ser leal a la pandilla, no decir nada. The gangsters in prison control the action on the streets. I'm curious to know how they make their money. I don't want to get somebody killed. But I found the next gang member who's willing to talk to me about it, providing he's allowed to disguise his identity. I'm meeting him now. Desde que la extorsión se convirtió en el modus vivendi o el modo de vida de las pandillas. Por supuesto, bajo la sombra de las pandillas también hay mucha gente. So if you don't pay, you die. En la mayoría de los casos. Did you ever have to kill somebody? Pero que de los que yo estoy seguro son algunos cinco quizás. How do you go from Killing at least five people to saying I had it. What happened? Pero muchos principios. I got it. I got to interject. You killed at least five people. What principle got thrown away? Pero ahora están matando niños, están matando señoras, están matando familias completas solamente porque no ceden con las peticiones económicas. Hay alguna pregunta. That night, I'm invited to join members of El Salvador's anti-gang unit as they prepare for a series of raids across the country. It's around midnight right now, it's raining, and there are 350 guys in front of me, armed to the teeth. Um, it's indicative of the danger they think they're up against to have this many guys and this many guns in one place. I'd hate to think what would happen if somebody threw a firecracker on the ground right now. Either some bad guys are going to surrender or there's going to be blood pouring through the streets of El Salvador. In El Salvador's war against the gangs, the police are fighting back. I've been driving for three hours with some of El Salvador's anti-gang squad. And they're about to bust into a house they believe contains large quantities of drugs and laundered money. The 
This is intense. That night, the police mount three raids, pulling in 14 gang members. They're out on these raids every week, but with thousands of gang members still on the street, there's a long way to go until the war is won. I'm curious how the police get their information, so I'm meeting with the head of police intelligence. Are the informants usually guys that you, you, you catch for crimes and then to get out of the, the sentences or whatever, they say, I, I'll, I'll talk. Esa es una de las características de los informantes, sino que también son algunos eh, miembros de pandillas eh, en la cual la, la misma pandilla les ha dado lo que se llama luz verde. O sea que hay una orden que cualquier pandillero que pertenezca a esa pandilla puede matarlo. The gangs kill family members as well of, of, the, of the person they want to kill. Sí sucede, o sea, muchas veces cuando los van a buscar a, a ellos y no los encuentran, un familiar al que eliminan. Are you able to ever infiltrate the gangs with undercover agents uh, and, and get in that way? Es casi imposible, hmm. ya que los requisitos para poder ingresar a una pandilla eh, son realizar algún tipo de actividades ilícitas, específicamente asesinar a alguien. I just came from the commissioner of police, and here's a twist. He put me in touch with this guy who's going to take me to see a snitch. I hate snitches. They put me in jail. They see them as necessary. I got to look at it as part of the journey. You said you want to collaborate with the members of the gang. One of the motives for which I want to collaborate is Un aproximado de cuántos homicidios estás hablando, que se puede hacer más o menos. Estoy hablando por ahí unos 1023 homicidios por ahí. Víctimas eh, civiles que no pertenecen, si existen. Pues sí. sí. Una pregunta y sobre los homicidios que yo declare, yo voy a tener una solución. Y una vez verificar la información, solicita al juez y te otorga el criterio del juez. Y este vuelve un testigo. <coughs> 